Uh, dear students, as you know, last class we were discussing about uh, fatty acids, saturated fatty acids, unsaturated fatty acids, polyunsaturated fatty acids, uh, like omega-3 fatty acid, omega-6 fatty acids. I, I hope then we have gone through synthesis of fatty acids, chemical reactions of fatty acids. So today I am going to start uh, the carbohydrates. Okay? Carbo Hydrates. The functions of carbohydrates, you have to work out it at home, this is homework, but I will give you just four main uh, functions of carbohydrates. Generally, they provide energy. Number one, they store energy. Okay, they provide energy, they store energy, they spare. Proteins and fats for other uses, and number four, they build macromolecules. So these are the four main functions of carbohydrates. So the main topic today, which we have to uh, discuss here is classification of carbohydrates. So let me start classification of carbohydrates. The classification of carbohydrates we have classification. Generally we are classifying it into three classes. Okay. Number one is monosaccharide monosaccharides number two is oligosaccharides number three is polysaccharide so if you see when I say mono it means one saccharide actually saccharide is a Saccharide is derived from a Greek word which means Greek word which means saccharin. Saccharin, it means sugar. So saccharin means sugar. So when we have one sugar molecule in the carbohydrate, we are saying the monosaccharides. If we have generally two to nine, so in this class we have further two types. One is disaccharide, it means two, this sugar, two sugar molecules, and we have another type, trisaccharides, so minus three sugar molecules, okay, and this monosaccharide has further it has further types. Number one, if we have three carbon in the sugar, we are saying them triosis. If we have four carbon, we are saying them tetrosis. If we have five carbon, we are saying them pentosis. If we have six carbon in the sugar, we are saying them hexosis. If we have seven carbon, we are saying them heptosis. Okay, so before going through examples, let me give classification here first. So polysaccharide, we have here further two types. Number one is structural polysaccharide and number two is storage polysaccharide. This uh, structural polysaccharide we have here example cellulose. In this we have example starch and inulin. So we have gone through now the the general classification of carbohydrates. So let me start now monosaccharide. Monosaccharide. 
monosaccharide means one sugar molecule. So it is type is number one. Try with this. What is the example? Glyceraldehyde. Glyceraldehyde. What will be the formula? CHO aldehyde CH2OH H OH. This is the uh, the general formula, chemical formula at try which is glyceraldehyde. Number two we have tetroses. For example, erythrose. So how many carbon here? Three carbon compound. One, two, three. Here it is four carbon compound. So this is also aldehyde form CH2OH and we can say H OH H OH. This is tetrosis. Now if I say after this we have after this we have third type pentoses. In pentoses we have a ribose sugar which is present in RNA deoxyribose deoxy ribose sugar and we have another example xylulose. This is aldose this is ketose what does it mean? It has aldehyde group this one has ketone group so when I say ribose sugar, it is formula is CHO, CH2OH, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So H, OH, H, OH, H, OH. When I say this xylulose, so it has ketone form. So CH2OH. Here it has C double bond O CH two OH. Then we have H OH and H OH. This is ketone group here. Here it is aldehyde group. This is pentosis. Now let us start uh, hexosis and heptosis. Six carbon glucosis. What are these? Hexoses. So we have suppose example glucose and fructose. This is aldose also means containing aldehyde group. This is ketose means containing C double bond group, carbonyl group. So when I say glucose, so we have here H. OH, H, OH, H, OH, H, OH. So we have carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C, 6, H, 12, O, 6. This is, they have both same formula. C, 6, H, 12, O, 6, C, 6, H, 12, O, 6. Both glucose and fructose have same formula. Now if I go through now, this is glucose, this is deposit glucose, it is also called the dextrose. Now ketose, so we have here ketonic group, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon. So here we will write H, OH, H, OH. So we have here aldehyde group, we have here ketone group. This ketone is mostly present in uh, fruits. That is why uh, diabetic patients and normal people we should take a lot of fruits because it contains uh, ketones, it contains uh, fructose which is good for our body and it, it, it will not uh, increase our glucose concentration in our body. It will save us from diabetes. So after this we have now 7 carbon compounds. Cetoheptulose means 7 carbon containing. We have 
Heptosis. Heptosis example. Cedo heptolose. It is also ketones. Ketones means containing carbonyl group, ketone group. So if I say CH2 OH then it is containing carbonyl group CH2 OH 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have here H OH H OH H OH H OH. This you know in uh, organic chemistry 210 we were discussing about uh, a DL system of uh, DL system in stereochemistry. So if this is in the right direction, right position towards this uh, uh, starting from this group, if it is in the right position, we are seeing D C do have to lose. So if I write now here CH2OH, then I will write again C double bond O CH2OH. One, two, three, four. Only I will change the direction of this. So H, O H. Others will remain same. H, O H. So if it is D, dextral rotatory, it will become L. L, C do have to lose. So this is seven carbon containing monosaccharide. Now after this we have to uh, discuss what are polysaccharides. In polysaccharides we have in polysaccharides and oligosaccharides. In oligosaccharides we have first type disaccharide. Disaccharide examples, for example, two glucose molecules, sucrose, sucrose containers, glucose plus fructose. Then we have, suppose, maltose, it contains glucose plus glucose. Then we have silobios, it also contains glucose plus glucose. Then we have lactose, it contains glucose plus galactose. Now if you see here maltose, glucose plus glucose, it is alpha glucose and alpha glucose. Silobase, it is basically beta glucose and beta glucose. We will discuss this, what is alpha glucose, what is beta glucose, because we have to discuss about what are anomers, what are uh, epimers of these carbohydrates, what is Haworth projection, what is Newman projection of carbohydrates, all these structures we have to discuss. So disaccharide. So uh, in the next lecture, I'm going to start uh, about uh, trisaccharide and we will discuss uh, in detail this disaccharides because we have to show one for alpha glycosidic linkage, one for beta glycosidic linkage, all these linkages we have to show. Then we will go th uh, through uh, uh, trisaccharide, then poly uh, polysaccharide, then we will start this uh, um, chemical reactions of carbohydrates. So, best of luck, take care.